Hello, hello, and welcome to the channel. We are at a very busy Dusseldorf boat show to show you the new Green Line range of boats. Now, it's just a bit of a weird one because it's quite busy. I have started on the fore deck, which is a bit odd, but we'll start with the anchor handling gear down here. Really, really chunky, really solid. Lovely little sort of windscreen for the forward cabin. Access to the forward cabin as well. Some pads here and obviously windscreen there. Nice big side deck this side. Same on the other side. Big sliding sunroof. You can see this massive sunroof here slides open. And also how well you can see, but at the back there, that entire black panel is solar panel. So this boat comes with standard, a couple of 250 horsepower diesel engines. Actually, this side deck is narrower than the other one, to be fair. And the idea is you can either run it completely electric, completely diesel, or a hybrid electric version, depending on what you want. And you can also run it, I think 22 knots is its cruising speed. You can run it at 22 knots on full electric power or full diesel power, and you can choose when that changes over. So a unique feature, or a fairly common feature of the Green Line 40 and across the range is this clever little folding down transom. So effectively the whole transom folds down to give you access to this very open plan cockpit area, like so. A couple of little corner seats, but you can pretty much choose the seating you have around here. There is a deck gate on both sides and on the other side and then really nice open galley area. So this glass panel lifts up, as you can see here. The other one slides across. They're mirrored, which is a green line feature, and then you have slightly offset decks. So full depth, but narrow deck that side, and then a slightly wider deck there. And this sort of little super yacht feature here with these supported overhangs. So the nice thing about the galley is that, say, this folds up out the way if you want to close the door off. But what it does, it gives you access to a really nice open plan dining area. So we look at it from this way, really open. Domestic fridge and freezer over here. You go spin around the other way around. So there you go, you can see how open that is on a lovely day, <laughs> perhaps not inside at a boat show. You've got galley that accesses right out to the water. Little sink over there, lots of storage around here, cooker down there big 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 dining table not massive just big and a nice array of seating around there and additional storage dotted around this sort of sideboard unit and again big big windows letting the light flood in you have a pop-up tv down here more storage there big sort of illuminating panel there to let light into the cabins and then a helm station here access to the side door Actually, we'll come back to the helm. No, we won't. We'll do it while we're here. So this comes with a couple of uh, diesel, twin diesel engines. It also comes with a lithium battery pack and the solar panels uh, that are on the roof. So you can drive this boat either with a diesel engine or with fully electric power. And they also reckon you can run on the lithium batteries for a weekend on hotel load. And then the usual bits and pieces. So engine controls, um, MFD display there bow and stern thrusters over there and a really really decent opening sunroof so lots and lots of light big windows very forward sets windscreen but we'll head down below if you're enjoying these videos do please like and subscribe just click the icon in the right hand corner here is the master bed master cabin even again tons of headroom on one meter seven there's lots of headroom there and again you can now see those hull windows superstructure windows. I don't know why I keep saying that. And they run, you can't see them because the blinds are closed, but they run all the way around here, flooding light into here. Wardrobe over there, TV up here. If I take a step back, you can see, again, there's a lot of floor space here. So this isn't like a lot of cabins where the, you know, the bulkhead's running up against the bed. Over here, we have the shared heads. Pretty standard layout. A green line, but very capable, really decent sized shower. Again, hull windows up here, superstructure windows, hull window porthole down there. So that's the door from the master cabin. That's the shared hedge door that then feeds into or from the twin cabin over here. 
nice little bed uh, seat there and then twin beds which could be made into a double but the interesting thing here is this is a full height cabin normally these second cabins are cutaways but because they've raised that section there and got this panel up here you've got pretty much standing headroom to sort of two-thirds of the way down the bed and even at the end of the bed you've still got sitting up in bed reading room little porthole there so we'll jump out the side door here so you can see that's how they've basically stolen a bit of space from the saloon to give that cabin that we looked at down there a bit more room so we'll pop back outside through the larger deck door the wider side deck and then you can see that forward sun cushion there cup holders and back there behind this big sunroof so right the way back there is those large large solar panels and then up forward here anchor handling gear lovely set of cleats and some fair leads absolutely vast anchor lock you could easily get some fenders and some lines in there if you wanted So there you go, we shall finish here and say thank you very much to Green Line and to Clipper Marine for allowing us to have a look around. I'll put all the details and some of the technical spec in the description below. If you have enjoyed the tour, please have a look at another one of these videos popping up now and I'll see you next time around. Thank you very much for watching.